Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the ninth episode of Kanojo Mo Kanojo Season 2. Last episode was very much a setup episode for our fun beach adventure trip that we're going to get in this episode. Got the planning done, got some swimsuits, swimsuits shopped for. A lot of S's in that sentence. But uh, also possibly some kind of alliance going on between, uh, between Rika and Shino, so... That's a neat, interesting little uh, extra element of things. We'll see how that we'll see how that goes. But, but yeah, this episode should be a lot of fun. You just see our girls in their sexy swimsuits having a good time. Honestly, what more could you ask for in life? So yeah, let's just jump on in and see how all that goes. So yeah, three, two, one, play. Yep, we have Saki Saki to thank for this. Oh yeah, she know our rich girl. Yeah, she hides it so well. But yeah, so far just kind of recapping, you know. Just whispering those evil thoughts. <laughs> that is a question, isn't it? <laughs> I will crush your hand. Ah, uh, plane ride. I guess we do have to do that, but never, never the fun part. Especially, especially depending on how afraid you are of flying. Which you know, I, I, I am. <laughs> now you might be as well. It seems like. <laughs> That's kind of present in a different sense. <laughs> I mean, sure, sure. This man looks like he's risking his life right now. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get much faster than a plane. As far as how fast a person's usually going to go. <laughs> I bet his life is flashing before his eyes. <laughs> he's not having as much fun as you. I don't think that's true. <laughs> He's almost treating him like a roller coaster, <laughs> but yeah, I didn't expect Naya to be yeah to be so afraid of flying. <laughs> but of course, he puts up with it for his uh, for his many girlfriends and their happiness. Cause that's what I would expect from now. Now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that camping trip. Good times. We got drugging everyone. <laughs> Would you lay down, cat? Keeps walking around on my bed, makes me nervous. <laughs> you don't need a miracle, you just need to not be insanely unlucky. <laughs> I was about to say, are we going to hold this hand for comfort? The the good person that Rika is, <laughs> trying to be helpful. <laughs> but yeah, in reality. <laughs> it's like, stop it, girl, for number one, you're getting in the way. Yeah, you're, you're my ally, Shino. Say, like, Shino, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> that would not help me relax, I tell you that. I'd be much more tense. 
<laughs> yeah. If anyone can manipulate Saki Saki, it'd definitely be Shino. Because she's not only is she smart, she's also been friends with her a while, you know. <laughs> now that everyone else in the plane is going to be very jealous. Maybe throw rocks at him. Okay, we should, we should be good now. <laughs> well, oh, never mind. We're gonna crash. We're gonna crash. <laughs> the calmness was short lived. Get over here. <laughs> You're my safety blanket. <laughs> okay. I will not let go of you. Not until we reach the ground. In a safe way. Preferably. Give it to me harder now, yeah. <laughs> Q intensifies. Okay, now are we good? Okay, that freaking Eddie, Eddie current was a jerk. <laughs> well, apparently they got satisfied from that. They might need a cigarette now. <laughs> You know, I read that as Ha Ha Airport at first and was wondering what was so funny about it. <laughs> Everyone survived. It's great. A couple of them might be pregnant, but yeah, we're, we're here. <laughs> well, I, I mean, <laughs> we have a, a mixed bag of feelings here. <laughs> also, she may have a new trauma. But hey, we made it at the beach. Umida, as they say. <laughs> it does look pretty nice. <laughs> it's not a competition now, yeah. <laughs> but thank, thank you. Yeah, let's take a look at that. <laughs> I expect free refreshments. Okay. Okay, the inside looks better. Looks pretty good inside. Yeah, you can't can't knock it. Definitely a pretty solid place. <laughs> we are so glad to have you in the in the harem. You are a value member. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't even see the beach from it, that's that'd be so great. Ah, uh, yes, I have. Naru hodo ne? What about Rika? I will, I got nothing better to do. I will wait here all day. Okay, here we go. Start with Saki Saki, maybe? Ooh, wow. Looking great, both of you. And here's the other two. And she's really wearing the freaking one piece. <laughs> but, I mean, still looks good. All of them look good. What? What could you possibly be complaining about? I got you. Those two look good, don't they? Like... <laughs> What, are you having regrets on your choice? I mean, they, they, they look really good to me. Look really good to me. <laughs> I, <laughs> very specific, but... I mean, it's not wrong. I mean, those shorts, they, those shorts do something for me. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like I did it for you or anything, Baka. <laughs> I know, right? 
Lila, nothing can ever be perfect, though. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he choose it? I tried to remember last episode. I feel like he chose it. <laughs> but. Either way, they all look great. <laughs> Slightly naughty angel. Was that what he called her? <laughs> That was such a great assessment. I mean, if this was an arrow guy, I know what we would do. Find a nice secluded spot and, uh... Oh, that's a look. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much better than this, just life in general. On the beach with your friends, sexy swimsuits on sexy girls. Just need some nice drinks and some food, and we're basically just we could just live here. This is our new life. <laughs> oh. Oh, Osaki. Oh man, I guess we did we did have a bit of a mood going, so and pretty good a time as any to to bring that up. <laughs> Cause I almost did kind of forget we did we did have that kind of thing going, didn't we? <laughs> but it's not gonna happen this early though. Like I see enough anime to know it's not gonna happen this early. Our angel has come back. She can have her chance to kiss. <laughs> Glad you're having fun, Saki. Okay, this is the secluded spot I was talking about. Uh, how, where, where, where are we going with this? <laughs> you know what? Just go naked, wake up. Nobody will complain. You'll much better advantage of everyone else. But that is funny though. I mean, that's a lot of cleavage right there. Does not leave a whole lot to the imagination. That's really not the kind of thing you say right now, no, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's for Saki's sake, of course, he's gonna jump on it. <laughs> Love the, like, war music in the background there. Or, not music, but sound effect. Some people might not have been as accepting of this song. <laughs> yeah, good times. Saki is definitely the hero that makes the show's premise possible. Nagisa. Nagisa is such a good girl. She truly is an angel. Like, no wonder Saki Saiko is willing to let her be girlfriend number two. Oh, but <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, that is a part of it. 
<laughs> that is an HO swimsuit right there. And I, I don't think she disapproves. <laughs> don't squish her to death now, yeah. <laughs> All the above. Oh, I mean, that's... Okay. <laughs> that's a good question. I guess she... I mean, she does have cleavage for days, so maybe... It's actually my favorite classic, you know, anime gag is the whole Where did you pull that thing from? I like how there's all the little stickers for the bookmarks. I no doubt. Some men may make kissing seem so difficult. Yeah, she pretty much spelled it out as clearly as she possibly could. Maybe give one to Nagisa too, if you know. Time for time allows. I mean, she's girlfriend number one. She should get to kiss you first. I would. I would think. <laughs> then maybe Nagisa could kiss Saki afterwards. <laughs> A much less aggressive, much more, you know, romantic uh, hug right there. Yeah, but if you hug her like that one more time, she might actually go in heat. <laughs> Very honest, I see. Understandable. <laughs> At this rate, she might get the kiss first, after all. <laughs> yeah, Ero Kawaii, I think, would be a good way to, to describe Nagisa. I mean, I think it would be a good way to describe Natsaki as well, but... I mean... Well, I see she uh, uh, upgraded... <laughs> Okay, Rika. <laughs> she knows just kind of like I hate my life. You give her so much power over you just because you're not willing to let that go. Yeah, meanwhile, while Nagis is getting all these erotic hugs. She's just enjoying the water. <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously. <laughs> yeah, there's no way Saki Saki is not going to pick up on that. Oh no. Oh, Rika. Your elbow could get lost in there. <laughs> the eye is signaling. Yeah, like, be pretty clear. Yeah, quick, get away before Rika stops you. Like, she was. She put her in an unreasonable position. <laughs> Oh no, don't be doing that. It's not cool. <laughs> what? Okay. What What are we doing? Uh, I, li I like the strategy so far. Is she going to have Naoya come back and help? <laughs> that is that is a ballsy move right there. Very bold. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I mean, it would be bad. <laughs> yeah, she'll be struggle snuggled right there in the water. 
<laughs> I'm thinking of starting to get a new idea for a doujinshi to look up. <laughs> I got it for you. <laughs> there we go. Imagine she just like broke and she couldn't get it back on. How are we gonna manage that? Okay. Okay. This is. Uh, now we're getting into crime territory right here. <laughs> This is almost painful to watch. Uh. <laughs> is it actually crampy now? Oh! You're giving a mixed signals here. Starkey Starkey just like, what the heck are you doing? Well, we successfully ruined Saki Saki's chance at a kiss. Congratulations, guys. Very interesting war that we have here. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit forcible. Because you're a coward. I mean, she might have. <laughs> I've noticed. You two are very different people. I picked up on that much. But she definitely has a point. Just successfully kicked her out. But yeah, the way things are going, I do feel like Shino's going to make some kind of move by the end of the trip. <laughs> but yeah, I can talk about Nagisa showing out of cleavage, but damn, does uh, the, uh, Rika, the, the, Rika wins in that regard. <laughs> yeah, speaking of crimes, this one definitely is. <laughs> Not that I would complain if I was in Naoya's position, but you know. He, he would. Because she is neither girlfriend number one or number two. She is a potential girlfriend number three. Is it really already over? Damn. That really flew by. <laughs> well, yeah, could you imagine if the genders were reversed and... You have a guy tying up a girl on the bed like that, crying over her. I still can't believe the episode's already over. I legit thought we were like halfway through. I like how the likes like really jump up around when it gets about to be a thousand or so. Like, thing like jumps like three thousand. But, but yeah, I guess just. Likes can go pretty fast like that. Yeah, like every time it does a new picture, it like, has a pretty big jump. Which again, I guess makes sense. If we're talking about overall likes for the channel, which I assume is what they're doing. And yeah, just a preview, which I am going to try to not watch. But okay. 
yeah, this uh, this is episode nine of Kanojo Mo Kanojo season two. The trip has begun, and it, like I said, it is a bit of a war, right? Everyone wants that kiss from Naoya. Some people are more aggressive about it than others, like Rika, mostly. Some some people are trying to be supportive of, of others, like Nagisa trying to help out Saki Saki because she is our naughty angel. <laughs> she is truly is an angel trying to help out Saki because she's very much indebted to Saki Saki. Because she allowed this whole two-timing thing to happen. If it wasn't for Saki Saki's willingness to allow that, Nagisa would not have had any of the opportunities that she's had with Naoya, right? So she's eternally grateful to Saki Saki for that, on top of just being, you know, good friends with her and all that. So, yeah, her position makes sense because she is such a kind, a good person. So, yeah, that was that was good to get all that. I do hope she gets a kiss from Naoya as well because she definitely deserves it. But... But yeah, that's the clear location that Nagisa brought to Naoya. Like I said, like, because in Arrow Get, almost always, if there's a beach episode, whichever girl's route you're on, you'll find a secluded location, you know, and do the deed and then go back to the others, right? It's a very common thing. The areas almost look, almost look the same in every visual novel. There's usually like a big rock nearby or whatever. And yeah, very much what we got here. So this is not Arrow Get, so nothing, you know, too naughty happened, but. I mean, we had some semi-naughty stuff. I mean, we, we had some mostly skin-exposed hugging, right? And we made the comment about how much skin was touching. Every time I th what I think about every time with that sort of thing is Great Teacher Joni Zuka. Because, yeah, he had everyone wear swimsuits during, like, a test of courage kind of thing. Because, yeah, m when you cling to each other because you're scared, more skin will touch. And a much higher chance of making, getting feelings to, to well up, get things happening. So, yeah, that always comes to mind. For me but we had many many hugs there some of them definitely look pretty intimate but they yeah, meanwhile saki saki just having fun in the water <laughs> so but yeah we also yeah had a little bit of our a little bit of our rika shino stuff because rika's trying to sabotage saki saki and she's hoping shino will help and she's I mean, she's forcing shino to help it's very threatening by whispering in anaki's ear and all that <laughs> but yeah, very much pushing her to help. Because when she ran into, the, ran into the water, I was like, what the heck is she going to do? Like, pretend to drown so it'll come back? That's kind of what I was thinking. But uh, no, she just, without much hesitation, just took her top off, <laughs> threw it in the water. <laughs> like, hey, now, yeah, my top's swimming away. Please go get it. Otherwise, some party bros will come by and cause me all sorts of trouble, you know. <laughs> so, you know, like, uh, yeah, he can't, he can't allow such things to happen. <laughs> But then she pretended to have a late cramp, and then actually had a real cramp, and then knocked him out. And that was the that was not probably how exactly how it was meant to go. But I, I worked in the end of the day. They took him out of the water. Rika brought him back to to like a hotel or whatever, or the well, I guess the the the, 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 the summer, summer house, whatever it's called. <laughs> Got him all tied up. Gave a few words to Shino, which probably gonna help her spur her into action at some point, but not not right now. So she kicks her out so she can have alone time with Naoya. <laughs> Fully, fully mounts him, you know, while wondering what she's going to do. And, uh, yeah, that's just kind of where we ended off. So, I imagine things aren't going to go too far. Like at, at, at the end of the day, this is a comedy show, right? And not a, not a hentai. So, like, things are not going to... I don't think anything's going to escalate too much. I do think somebody will come in somehow before anything escalates too much. But we'll see what happens before then, right? Will she manage to get a kiss off at least before anyone comes in? We'll just have to wait and see. I just, I imagine not, but we'll, we'll see. And I think that's about all I had to say. Just as always, Rika is the biggest criminal on this show. I mean, I don't think that's gonna, I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon, right? But we do really do have a good diversity of cast members here. As far as like just character design, personality, moral compass. Like it, it, it's cool to get. Like no one on the show is as kind as Nagisa. Like that's not gonna happen. And no one is as much of a baka as Saki Saki. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, that was the episode. Everyone looked great in their swimsuits, as I said. Rika wearing the, the the school swimsuit thing was was great. You know, because I don't think, because I mean, no, he didn't directly say it, but Rika took it that way and it does make sense that maybe he just like sabotaged her because he doesn't want to fall in love with her. So if he specifically had her wear a swimsuit that wouldn't turn him on, which it seems like that's what happened. That's that's a that's a brilliant 4 4D chess 200 IQ play from Naoya that she fell for. If that because that's what I'm pretty sure that's what they're heavily implying. So that's great if that's the case. But 
yeah, she changed into something or either or changed or just changed that swimsuit in general. I don't know which one, but either way, she has a much better swimsuit now. But, but yeah, good stuff. Looking forward to see how things go in the next episode. Hopefully, Saki Saki can get that kiss. Like I said, girlfriend number one deserves to have the first kiss. And then Nagisa deserves kiss number two for being such a sweet angel. And from there, I mean, I guess Rika deserves a kiss for how much effort she puts in. You know, even though she does horrible things. And Chino, of course, deserves a kiss because... I mean, she's great as, as well, right? But uh, first she has to admit that she likes him before she can even begin to talk about a kiss. So, well, uh, that, that's a work in progress. But, but yeah, that was the episode. So thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.